While we have all been riveted by the bailout and the presidential campaign fire drill we're in right now, there happens to be a soul of the nation story unfolding at the same time out of the spotlight. Secretary of State Condoleezza Rice has just admitted for the first time that U.S. cabinet officials talked inside the White House about specific ways to torture people. Rice and her legal advisor yesterday admitted it in writing uh, to the Senate. We know the officials in the torture discussions included Rice and John Ashcroft, other senior officials who routinely attended the types of meetings at which these discussions took place, included Donald Rumsfeld, Alberto Gonzalez, and David Addington, at the time Dick Cheney's top lawyer. We don't yet know if the discussions also included the president or the vice president. Because torture is, of course, a violation of the Geneva Conventions, and because we have a law in this country that criminalizes violations of the Geneva Conventions, I think... Well, I think it means we just can't get this issue behind us, even though we're into a new election cycle now. There's supposed to be prosecutions for things like this. I think of myself as kind of a national security voter, and I therefore really want to see a presidential debate tomorrow on foreign policy, which is what it's supposed to be about. Because national security gone haywire, issues like this, like torture, still define who we are as a country. It's still unfinished business. Would you agree a, a dunk in water is a no-brainer if it can save lives? Well, um, it, it's a no-brainer for me, but for a while there I was criticized as being the vice president for torture. We do not condone torture. We do not torture. Footnote, as we define torture, which means exactly what we wish it to mean and nothing else. That was a clip from the Oscar-winning documentary, Taxi to the Dark Side, which explores the Bush administration's abuse of power in the name of national security. Taxi to the Dark Side debuts September 29th on HBO. Joining us now, the Oscar-winning director of Taxi to the Dark Side, Alex Gibney. Hi, Alex. Thanks for joining us. Hi, Rachel. Good to be here. We maintain all these prisons around the world now, with thousands of people in them. Military prisons, even still some CIA prisons, apparently. Is this issue over now that we're on to McCain, Obama, and we don't really talk about the Bush administration anymore? No, I don't think it's over at all. Not only are there issues relating to how the CIA continues to conduct interrogations and a number of prisons and, I would argue, illegal trials, but more fundamentally, what's not over is how we reckon with the past. We can't go forward and recapture our um, kind of moral reputation if we don't reckon with the past and what we've done. The administration's take on this has been that it's been a few bad apples who mistreated prisoners and that they've been prosecuted. Should policymakers be prosecuted? Could they be? That's a tough question. They could be if uh, politicians had the will to do so. I think at the very least the Truth Commission with subpoena power would be something valuable because I don't think, I don't think there's any question now, particularly with the revelations of uh, Secretary Rice coming out, that this is not a case of a few bad apples. This is a rotten barrel and the rotten barrel is the civilian administration. When you shot uh, footage for your film in Bagram, when you talked to U.S. Uh, military personnel who had been guards of prisoners who were involved in these abuse cases, what was the toughest thing for you about shooting this film? The toughest thing was coming face to face with something so brutal. And also, you know, um, this is a murder mystery really about a, a taxi driver, a young man from Afghanistan who was brutally tortured and murdered in detention in Bagram. And initially I had to uh, interview a number of the guards and interrogators, who, some of whom were responsible for killing this man. I didn't come into it um, with much sympathy for them. I ended up having a great deal of sympathy for them. They were scapegoats for a policy that was coming on down from on high and that was one of the toughest things for me to reckon with the other tough thing for me to reckon with was the whole issue of why why when we have such a body of knowledge that torture does not deliver reliable information over time did our policymakers so embrace it and I fear that the answer is because they were always getting back the information that they wanted to hear and that's what torture delivers Alex Gibney, director of the Oscar-winning documentary Taxi to the Dark Side. It debuts Monday, September 29th on HBO. Alex, congratulations on the success of the film, and thanks for joining us. Thank you so much, Rachel.